So remember that time Jacob Zuma started a little party on the 16th of December in 2023 and no one took it seriously. Then he contested the election in May of 2024 and became the third biggest party in South Africa with a bootleg name that he stole from the ANC calling it the MK party using almost the same colors green, black and white instead of the prominent yellow but he just sprinkled some yellow in there. Now that party has grown it as members in parliament and as I said it's the third biggest party in South Africa. I definitely think you should join it. It got 14% of the vote, 4 million red blooded voting age South Africans voted for it. I think you should join it. I think it's a great thing for you to do and I'm going to give you five reasons why you should join. The first reason you should join MK party that is obvious is that you get to be led by a great leader. The one, the only, the illustrious, the machine gun slinging, the Ngandla building, the Gupta loving Jacob Zuma. 82 years old, forgetting his words, so many court cases he still has to attend but you know what? This thing is going somewhere because this guy, Jacob Zuma wants to get even with the ANC. My goodness, you should join him on this quest to get even with the ANC and take over because at 82 years old, he is the future of this country and nothing will tear this party apart. Whether he's in it or not, it will definitely stick together. And just because he's fired a couple of people for no reason, got rid of MPs to make way for new people, more high profile people that were joining his party because he came third and he fires and hires and directs this little party from his palatial homestead built, of course, state money, 110 million rands worth. This man sitting by the fire pool directing his little party at will. No conferences, no real structures, no real ideology. Jacob Zuma's the ideology. That's what you get. You should join right now. That's the caliber of leader you get in the MK and you should join right now. Now, staying with that story, the MK party says it won't publicly comment on the expulsion of its former members of parliament. 10 out of the 18 MPs have approached the courts after failed attempts to engage the leader, Jacob Zuma. Uh, Tim Tongana reports. These expelled MK party MPs are demanding answers for their axing. They've approached the courts for reinstatement and the halting of the swearing in of their replacements in parliament. They never engaged us. They never spoke to us. You must check how many times the list has been updated the list going to parliament. So if they engaged us prior, and then there are new members who are coming in now, where, where does that space come from? Why did Sihle write uh, to, to the Secretary of Parliament on the 5th of July, but uh, in August he was deploying us to provinces? If we had been expelled and some of us had resigned in July, why was he deploying us to provinces to do constituency work? Reason two, you should join the MK one built on solid ground. You get to have the ideology that the MK seems to be trying to push right now of being a professional victim. Especially if you're a black person, which is really what the MK is aiming for. You get to be a professional victim, blame white people for everything, have grievance, and then, here's the really clever part, you get to play the victim too, even though you're a leader of a party getting a big salary and you get to call the leader of your party Jacob Zuma a victim who's being oppressed by whites by the neoliberal regime by the white monopoly capital and by the ANC and by anyone who's not a raging socialist commie you get to play the black grievance card at every turn because you know what you've earned it you are the sort of person who can join mk and if the leader of the mk can do it you get to do it too that's definitely how you advance a people you get them to play the victim and thereafter they have to submit that their leader is also the biggest victim and they are being oppressed and they're being suppressed and slandered and that's what you should do every single day and that's the message of your party join the mk be a professional victim, led by professional victims, headed by the biggest professional victim in South Africa. I joined Umkonto Wesizwe because I felt that it's the home which understands the persecution of the black people, the oppression, the, 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 the challenges which we are facing and fighting the captured system. So. 
I could relate with the constitution of Umkonto Vesizwe. I mean, it's, 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 it's what it needs to be done to liberate our people. So, Angala uh, Shegi, Nisekaya. So I decided to accept. And just when you thought that was too good, there's a third reason to join the illustrious MK party. You get, when you become a member of the MK party, you get to be part of the clan of the corrupt. You get to join that group. Such great luminaries as Lucky Montana, who was the head of Prasa from 2010 to 2015, a man who was in charge of the railways in South Africa, but bought trains from Spain, and it turns out the trains were too large to function on the rail tracks that he's been in charge of all this time. Former Prasa CEO Lucky Montana says the State Capture Commission has been compromised. He's giving testimony related to the passenger rail agency. He was scheduled to testify in January, but his testimony was postponed. Montana then slammed Commission Chair Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, accusing him of being biased, saying there's a good chance the Commission Chair is captured. Michael Apple is tracking this for us and joins us live. Uh, Michael, good evening. Not the first time we've seen accusations against uh, Deputy Chief Justice Zondo. So Montana painting himself as someone who ran a tight ship at Prasa with very limited expenditure. Um, tell us more about his version, what he said today. 2014-2015 or 2013-2014 financial year, only 100 million in irregular expenditure. Quote, only 100 million. Those are his words. Um, in, the, in the years subsequent to that, um, it would jump significantly, irregular expenditure at Prasa, to 550 million, 12 billion, and then eventually 20 billion. So he says during his tenure, uh, he ran a pretty tight ship, as you say and the majority of the country's trains were actually running. What about Brian Molefe, former CEO of ESCOM, Gupta Ally, accused of all sorts of corruption? Many will say, well, under Brian Molefe, we didn't have uh, load shedding. Well, maybe they were running the country on diesel so much that it eventually broke down and, and took load shedding to a far worse place than it ever was. Or what about Sinao Tambo, the illustrious spokesperson of the EFF, well, former, you can be a peer to him or John Schlopper. And breaking news now, MK Party parliamentary leader Dr. John Schlopper has resigned from the Judicial Services Commission, the JC, with immediate effect. And this was confirmed to SABC News by Umkonto Wessiz with political party chief Whip Mzwanele Mani, as well as national spokesperson Tlamulon Lela. The party has also written to the National Assembly Speaker to withdraw the nomination of Dr. Schlopper is one of the designated members of the National Assembly to serve in the JC. Dr. Thlope, who was removed from office as a judge president of the Western Cape, resigns amid a cloud over the legality of his designation to the JC, which is still the subject of a court review. Busisi M. Kwebane, the former public protector. How about Desmond Des Van Rooyen, finance minister for a weekend, and the person who truly founded MK Jabulani Kumalo, kicked out by Jacob Zuma. MK is one. We only have the leadership in the MK and I'm still part of the leadership. So the IEC says they received both letters from you. Remember the second letter you had said? No, that is the internal letter. issues. That's not about the uh, 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 media. This is why, why, why were you not at that rally? Why were you not at the MK rally this past weekend? Because as I'm here, the, the President Juma Zuma is in KZ10. So, so, but what could be so different. important uh, for you to miss your own party's... Um, uh, I didn't miss it. But you are not, not there. No, meaning to be there doesn't mean to not to be there doesn't mean that you missed it. So you're we, here to the, the party is going to the elections on the 29th. So leaders must go all over in canvas. So is there no bad blood between you and members of the leader? I mean, members of the party, is there no bad blood? No, 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 there's no bad blood. So you remain the registered party leader. And what about your court application then? Court application is internal. Are you excited yet to go to work and to go to rallies with your new friends? Become a member of this channel today on our Buy Me A Coffee page. You'll get exclusive members-only content, which are courses 15 to 30 minutes long. We add a new one every single month on various topics linked to the channel. When you're a member, you get access to all of them.
on our Buy Me A Coffee page. Check it out. The link is in the description. Let me give you a fourth reason why you should definitely join the MK Party. This is just one of the great perks you get with your membership. You get to be a filthy, rotten, socialist, communist. You get to want to be powerful while keeping everyone poor. You get to push a system that has worked nowhere it's ever been tried. It is actually the most effective way to break a country, keep everyone poor, oppress and suppress people, their thinking, their speech and their actions, keeping them hungry and keeping them under your thumb while you rule and get rich and do whatever you want. You get to be right up there with Floyd Shivambu, spouting communist while you steal money from grannies at VBS Bank. You get to be a filthy socialist and you get to push this filthy idea that has broken African countries all over this continent since 1945. You get to be part of that and run a party made up of ordinary South Africans, many of them not rich. You get to keep them poor and make their prospects no better while you make your prospects all the better. And finally, the most powerful, thought-provoking, the most compelling reason to be an MK member and to join the great ranks of the MK party and be led by Jacob Zuma and be a professional victim and join the clan of the corrupt and just embrace the filth of socialism and communism. The fifth and most compelling reason to be an MK member and why you should join right now, today, do not do anything else before you join the MK is because the MK party is doomed to fail. It is going nowhere. It is merely an inevitability that this party will fall apart. The minute Jacob Zuma's ticker stops, that party is over. What people don't realize about the MK is that it is already dead. It is a zombie. It is a walking dead thing and it's only moments away and it just needs one little catalyzing event and the whole place is going to fall apart because it's full of people who are bereft. The MK is an empty shell. So the conclusion is quite clear and obvious then. You definitely need to join the MK. The former chairperson of the EFF advocate Dali Mpofu has joined the Umkonto West Seasway party. Yes, of course, that is the conclusion. Your worst sin is that you have destroyed and betrayed yourself for nothing. Dostoevsky, that is exactly the MK member. I recommend you join the MK. The case is closed, my friend. Sign up today, be an MK member. It's the best. Thank you for listening. If you dare, buy us a coffee. The link is in the description.